Hi everyone, Octhony Gontano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it is time for a review of the new Dave record, Psychodrama. This is the debut full-length commercial album of Dave, or Santan Dave. He is from Streatham and has been building up the hype on this new record of his with a couple of EPs, a handful of singles as well. He is a guy who in his music is not afraid to address a lot of social and political issues. In fact, that is kind of what has defined his work up until this point, especially with breakthrough tracks like Question Time, a track addressing war and inequality as well as economic struggles and British politics. And given that this song is a pretty good track touching down on a lot of must-address issues, I went into this new album expecting something uh, pretty thoughtful, maybe a little dramatic as well, something trying to get to the heart of societal ills today. And that is definitely what psychodrama is, or at least attempting to be, but honestly, after numerous listens to this album, I can't say that it's, it's really resonating with me, despite me nodding in agreement with much of what Dave is saying on this record. For one, the instrumentals on this thing are absolutely generic. All of the glistening and super synthetic pianos, and swells all over this record. The beats on this album really have nothing novel or colorful about them. There's a bit of added atmosphere to a lot of the beats on this thing for a, a bit of theatrics, but much of the time the production isn't really evoking much of anything for me. The beats on this thing read kind of like instrumentals that you would find strewn about YouTube that uh, some hardcore Eminem or Hobson stan would be kind of downloading off of the website to spit some really introspective, meaningful shit over. The instrumentals just have this really cloying, overly sentimental quality about them that is an absolute turnoff. Occasionally throwing out completely unnecessary fluff, like the piano solo at the very end of Screwface Capital. And all the super pristine harps and strings on Leslie, I, I really cannot. And that vocal at the end of the track, you cannot tell me that that voice isn't basically something that you would usually hear on like a Machine Gun Kelly record. And again, all of this despite me liking a lot of what Dave is saying, especially the incredibly heart-wrenching story at the core of that song, Leslie. The girl in that song, her toxic relationship, her baby, the tragic finish of that song is... Uh, awe-inspiring, it's eye-widening, it is stomach-churning, really makes you reflect on our sad reality and uh, the unfortunate positions that uh, a lot of people are, are put in, especially women who are in abusive relationships as this track reflects on. Not only do I find the instrumentals lacking, but also Dave's delivery leaves a lot to be desired. A lot of the time he's rapping with this subdued, middle-of-the-road, kind of choked up delivery that runs more like spoken word than it does rapping, which I'm not necessarily against rappers who who tend to fall on that side of the fence. There are quite a few uh, who deliver in a more spoken word style that I think is pretty great. However, I don't find Dave's particular approach to that all that compelling. There's quite a bit of emotional substance to what he's saying in his tracks, but when it comes to his delivery, uh, it, it feels kind of emotionally flat. And listen, message and substance in your music is great. It's often what is the most lacking when it comes to the most popular artists out there today. But as a rapper, what you're saying can be just as important as how you are saying it. That's the other side of the coin. And when it comes to Dave, in that particular instance, much of what he's saying on this record may be sensible, oftentimes accurate, but still he comes off incredibly cliche in his wording, in his descriptions, in the philosophical points that he tries to pull out of his songs and stories too. Much of what I'm hearing here is so on the nose, it's less like I'm listening to a song and more like I'm listening to, um, I don't know, like a, a blog post or an advice column, or like an inspirational macro that uh, somebody age ranged 30 to 50 posted on Facebook. And again, I'm in agreement with most of what Dave is saying on this record. If it were uh, posted on Twitter or something somewhere, I'd probably either like it, respond, or retweet it. But there's something about the plain instrumentals and completely humdrum flows and his very average voice that is preventing the points he's trying to get across from really translating to a captivating song. I appreciate a lot of the personal themes on this record. I kind of admired what he was trying to do with the 
a uh, whole overarching therapy thing as he's kind of having his therapist respond to the things that he's saying in these tracks, segueing from one moment to the next on the record. I think there are a lot of good qualities about this record. I can see why people are so excited about it. I can see why I've gotten so many demands to review it, but personally, I'm incredibly indifferent toward uh, Dave's execution on this album, or rather, I think it uh, uh, really kind of rained on my potential parade uh, for this album. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Anthony Fantano, Dave, Psychodrama, Forever.